Yes, ma'am. That's what I said. <laughs> Not me. My Mickey says it's six o'clock. Okay, I now call the call to order the Midwest City Council May twenty fifth version. Um, and uh, I'd ask Bon Sullivan come down and offer the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Miss Susan Eads. Please stand. about me please gracious heavenly father we thank you for this beautiful day that you've blessed us with and this occasion that this council has come to serve in this community and father we ask your blessing of wisdom and discernment be upon them tonight father and i ask you to give them peace in their decisions uh, that they make tonight as well father we thank you so much for this beautiful city and state and this nation that we that we live in and we just we give you glory and honor for these blessings. Father, we thank you for those who are willing to uh, sacrifice and, and labor for this community and provide good quality services. And we're blessed to have many dedicated people. We thank you for those who are serving this great land and ensuring its freedoms and the freedom to assemble uh, as we're doing here tonight. Father, uh, bless them in, in safety and, and, and their families as well while they're, while they're away. We thank you so much of, uh, for Jesus. Thank you for being willing to give up your son. We don't know how to say thank you, but just just that. Thank you. We ask all of this in his holy name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. <coughs> Move into uh, community announcements, Mr. Lyon. Thank you, Mayor. I have several announcements. Oops, I have several announcements for tonight, starting with Memorial Day. Will be observed on May 31st. If this is your regular day of service, your trash and recycling will be collected on Wednesday, June 2nd. So put put out your cans on Wednesday, June 2nd, via versus Monday. Reno Swim and Slide opens this weekend on May 29th at full capacity and will be closed on Tuesday. Pool passes are $45 each. The third Saturday of each month is uh, Cruising for Coffee from April to October. Classic cars, custom cars, custom motorcycles will be on display in the parking lot at Santa Fe Cattle Company on Sooner Town Center on 29th Street from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Admission is free, no vehicle entry fees, all ages are welcome. June 10th is the Midwest City Association Celebration, which will be held at Joe B. Barnes Regional Park at the Rotary Pavilion from 5.30 to 7. June 13th is Summer Skip Down Bike S Series at the Skip Recreational Trail for junior cyclists ages four through 18 with prizes for the top three girls and top three boys in each category. And that's the Soldier Creek Industrial Park bike trail. There's a parking lot there and a really cool trail back off in to the north underneath the, um, the overpass there. Residents who need us to submit a non-emergency concern or request to the city and can use our, re they can use our resident request reporter this online tool allows residents to report a variety of issues including code enforcement potholes utility problems and it can be found under your community tab on the midwestcityok.org website tickets for the mommy son field day are now on sale this is a fun opportunity for moms and mother figures to play and bond with their sons activities include limbo 
free snow cones, dancing, and other fun outdoor activities. Everyone who purchases a ticket will also receive access to a private swim from 7.30 to 9.30 that night at the Reno Swim and Slide Pool. Midwest City's Tribute to Liberty will be held on Sunday, July 4th this year in Joe B. Barnes Regional Park. Um, visit the community calendar at midwestcityok.org for more information about the events and the different uh, music that's going to be held that night. And finally, um, demolition has started on the WP Bill Atkinson Park at Town Center. So we're excited about that park getting dedicated and out of the ground. That's all the announcements I have, Mary. Ms. Eads? I have one, Mayor. Um, the Tinker Intertribal Council All Gourd Dance is on Saturday, June 12th. It starts at noon ends at 9 p.m. There's going to be food trucks, arts and craft vendors available, um, as well as the dance. Um, that's to happen at Joby Barnes Regional Park. And um, that advertisement is out now. So hope everybody can make it out to that too. Thank you. Um, I have two uh, announcements. Uh, number one, there'll be a flag raising ceremony at Veterans Park at 11 o'clock on Monday, uh, Memorial Day. To, uh, in honor of the 3.5 million Americans who lost their lives in the service to this uh, great country that we live in. Um, so if you can attend, uh, please do. Uh, that's led by uh, Hiawatha Bolden. He's the one that kind of takes care of our veterans park and ramrods, everything that goes down there. And I would ask the audience and the uh, council's indulgement, indulgence for just a second you know, five and a half years ago, uh, the citizens, you guys, uh, elected me as mayor of Midwest City. It's been a humbling experience. I can't say it's all been pleasant, uh, but it, <laughs> uh, I, I forget what the verbiage was, unexpected allies. Um, and, uh, and I, you know, I'll be totally honest with you, 2020, as did a lot of people, uh, took a toll on all of us, um, w w trying to keep our economy going, trying to uh, not overstep our uh, legal bounds on civil liberties, uh, all of that, and, uh, and uh, I had considered uh, not running. But again, two unexpected allies uh, pulled me off to the side and had a talk with me. Uh, after a lot of prayer and consultation with my wife, um, I have, uh, I am officially announcing that uh, I am going to run for my third term as mayor of Midwest City, and uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I do appreciate the confidence that you've shown in me over the last five and a half years representing this community and being an ambassador uh, for our city. And... Uh, and I look forward to another four years if that's what the voters want. So uh, with that being said. Um, I have one thank you I wanted to address in community yes, announcements too that I failed to do. So graduation was Saturday for all of the Middell High Schools and FNB Community Bank um, sponsored a congratulations card with a dollar coin in each of the graduates sleeves type of thing as a little token. Um, to commemorate their graduation. And so I just wanted to say a special thank you to FNB Community Bank for that. Um, it was for all of the Middell kids, so thank you very much. That's awesome. Okay, we have uh, several proclamations to do and uh, city manager presentation, so uh, we'll move into that. Stoney, would you come down? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, I got to use this one. Yeah. Okay. 
So this is a special recognition for a long-term employee here for the city who's been a dedicated worker and has done an outstanding job and and uh, we're we are saddened that you're having to leave us and and we really appreciate all the years of service to Stoney that you've done for us and this is a recognition special recognition of Stoney Tieski for loyal and dedicated service to the citizens of the city of Midwest City May 1st 1989 through April 27th 2021 thank you so, awesome and Stoney, I can't give you anything but a day, but okay. you deserve a lot more. But uh, whereas Stoney Tiansky began his career with Midwest City in May of 1989 as a route service person in sanitation and retired. April, 20, uh, April 2021, after nearly 32 years of faithful service. And whereas he's proven himself as a valuable part of the Midwest City sanitation team, being knowledgeable of all residential route collection methods and willingness to help others, especially during the difficult time of 2020. And whereas Stoney has been a good team member and accepted additional responsibilities with no problem, wisely uh, pr uh, providing ideas that uh, might improve the department and improve effectiveness in problem solving. Whereas his professional manner toward his customers and always professional, and he demonstrates efficiency, competency, and courtesy. Whereas Stoney's co-workers said that he loves his family and loves to spend time with them and where he'll fight for equality for each employee and that he's very dedicated to his job and would be reached uh, no matter what time of day or night. So therefore, I'm Matthew Dukes, Mayor of Midwest City, do hereby proclaim uh, May 25th, 2021, Stony Tieski Day in the city of Midwest City, and hereby urge all citizens to show Stony the appreciation he deserves for his selfless contribution to the residents and businesses of the city of Midwest City. Smile. <laughs> Come on down, man. I don't know half of you now. They're getting younger all the time. What's up? Yeah, a couple of you guys can have to stand next to me. Again, uh, we're a little late on this. We should have done this last month, but it's been kind of a busy. Uh, you know, these are the the guys and girls that uh, go out and protect us every day. And uh, we owe him the debt of gratitude. But whereas International Firefighters Day was created in 1999, following the tragic death of five, fire, five firefighters in Australia, and is celebrated on May 4th each year, remembering the dedication, courage, and need for firefighters all over, all over the world. Whereas the International Firefighters Day is a time where the whole world's community can recognize and honor the sacrifices that firefighters make to ensure that their communities' environments are safe as possible. Whereas our Midwest City firefighters are committed to providing the highest level of public service for our community and residents, protecting lives, property through fire suppression, disaster management, fire prevention, and public education. Whereas they endeavor to be mentally and physically prepared to take bold and aggressive action in the execution of their mission as evidenced by the 254 fire calls and over 8,000 EMS calls in the uh, year 2020. Therefore, I, Matthew Dukes, Mayor of Midwest City, do hereby proclaim May 4th, 2021 as Firefighter Appreciation Day. And rather than uh, just one day, all year round, recognize what these guys do for us and thank them for their service. Again, uh, 
given in my hand uh, this day, uh, well, the, tw the 12th of May of uh, the year of our Lord, 2021. Thank you guys for meeting. Thank you guys. I guess we party pick. Wow. <laughs> Chief, I'll give this one to you. There you go. Thanks, Bill. Right. You guys be good. This is good night. <clears throat> All you police officers, come on down. I need everybody. Don't <laughs> sigh. I saw that sigh, Lieutenant. Come on, Jonathan. Hi, Anthony. It's okay. And once again, these ladies and gentlemen are the ones that go out and fight the fight every day. Uh, and uh, yeah, some of you guys come they're 100% okay. uh, dedicated <laughs> to the city and, uh, and to your protection. And uh, despite all that's going on throughout, throughout the nation, these folks show up every day and, uh, and do their job and serve you. And uh, again, we're a little late on this one, but whereas National Police Week is to honor the service and sacrifice of those law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty, while protecting our communities and safeguarding our democracy. Whereas the dedicated men and women who have chosen law enforcement as a career face extraordinary risks and dangers in preserving our freedom and security. Whereas it is fitting and proper that we express our gratitude for the dedicated service and courageous deeds of our law enforcement officers and for the contributions they have made to the security and well-being of our people. And whereas by joint resolution uh, approved by uh, approved October 1st, 1962, the Congress has requested the President designate May 15th of each year as Peace Officer Memorial Day and the calendar week <laughs> during which May uh, 15th falls occurs as Police Week. Whereas the members of the Midwest City Police Department play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of the citizens of our community, I therefore, Matthew Dukes, Mayor of Midwest City, do hereby proclaim May 9th through the 15th as an uh, Police Week in Midwest City, and urge all police, uh, all citizens in Midwest City, to uh, thank them for their service and their continued dedication to our community. Given my uh, under my name, uh, uh, the 25th day of May, in the year, year uh, 2021. Uh, again, with everything that's going on in the world today, these guys do an amazing job, and please. And Matt, please thank them for their service. Matt, before you, before you cut them loose, I think it's important for the community to know that we just went through the budget deal and the, the fund the police never came up. Good point. And it will never come up in this community. Trust me on that one. Thank you guys for your service. Great group of folks, firemen and policemen. Thank you guys very much.
Okay, you got to listen to me one more time. Um, Where'd everybody go? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I've said it uh, a lot of times, uh, although uh, well-deserving, the police and fire get a lot of credit, uh, and, and they deserve it. But there's some unsung heroes in this community that rarely get any credit, but are just as important to the safety and security of our community, and that's those folks that work in public works. And that's an all-encompassing uh, area, uh, streets, uh, sanitation, uh, uh, water you drink, water, the water you drink, the sewage that you flush away, all of that. And I'll tell you what, the one thing that will ring our bells every time is if your trash doesn't get picked up, we're hearing about it. So they, they're extremely important. So it's, uh, it's good to come to uh, together to recognize these folks. And whereas public works professionals focus on the infrastructure, facilities, and services that are of vital importance to uh, sustainable and resilient communities and to the public health and high quality of life and well-being of the citizens of Midwest City. Whereas the infrastructure, facilities, and services that could not be provided without the dedicated efforts of public works professionals who are engineers, managers, employees of all levels of government and, pri and private sector who are responsible for rebuilding, improving, protecting our nation's transportation, water, and water treatment and solid waste systems, for, uh, public buildings and other structures and facilities that are essential for our citizens. Whereas it is in public interest for the citizens, civic leaders, and children in the Midwest City to gain the knowledge and to maintain an ongoing interest and in understanding of the importance of public works public works programs in their prospective communities. Whereas uh, year 2021 marks the 61st annual National Public Works Week sponsored by the American Public Works Association, Canadian Public Works Association. So therefore, I'm Matt Dukes, Mayor of Midwest City, to hereby proclaim uh, the week of uh, May 16th through the 21st as Public Works Appreciation Week, week Stronger Together. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll move into our consent agenda. These items are placed on the consent agenda so that the council, by unanimous consent, can approve routine agenda items by one motion. If any item proposed does not meet with the approval of, of uh, all the council or members of the audience wish to discuss an item, it will be removed and heard in regular order. Move Chair, to entertain a motion to approve. I'm sorry, Mayor. Move to approve. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, indicate by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Abstention. Motion carries. Move into our discussion items. Mr. Lyons, discussion item number one. PC 2059, public hearing and discussion consideration of an ordinance to redistrict from C3 Community Commercial to SPUD Simplified Plan Unit Development governed by C4 General Commercial subject to staff comments for the properties described as lots one and two of block A of Marydale Acres, addition addressed as 1101 and 1107 North Post Road. This item was continued from January 12th and April 27th. Mr. Harless. Yes, the uh, applicant has chosen not to move forward with this and withdrawn their application. So no actions needed? <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Mr. Harless. Yeah, I didn't have to read all that then. But, uh, 
Uh, item number two. Uh, PC uh, 2076 public hearing with discussion and consideration of an ordinance to amend the Soldier Creek Industrial Park skip plan unit development governed by C4 General Commercial District and I2 Moderate Industrial District for the property described as part of um, the north uh, section of Section 27 Township 12 North uh, Range 2 West of the Indian Meridian, Oklahoma County, Oklahoma. Mr. Harless and Mr. Coleman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lyon. Um, yes, um, I think the, the council and everyone's familiar with this this uh, project, the SKIP project, uh, but this uh, PUD amendment is being requested in order to allow staff to better market the site for future development. The amendment includes adding one allowable use in phase one for part of the Soldier Creek Industrial Park. The additional allowable use proposed is an auto for automotive and equipment light. Um, this use is being requested to be allowed within the phase one to a potential prospect due to a potential prospect that have inquired about locating and skip. Uh, the proposed addition, additional uses for the single lot and would not apply to other lots of Soldier Creek Industrial Park. Action is at the discretion of the council. And of motion course. Second. I have a motion and a second. It's a public hearing. This is a public hearing. Does anyone in the audience have any uh, issues with this particular item? Hearing or seeing none, we'll proceed with the motion. I have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention, motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Rollins. Uh, item number four. Mm, three, is it? Three. three. I'm sorry, three. <laughs> PC 2077 public hearing with discussion and consideration of approval of a resolution for a special use permit to allow the use of eating establishment sit down alcoholic beverages permitted in C3 community commercial district for the property described as part of the northeast quarter section 26 township 12 north range 2 west addressed as 8508 and 8538 northeast 23rd street Billy. thank you mr Lyon. Uh, this parcel is currently zoned C3, commercial, uh, Community Commercial. Um, I'm going to almost say it's wrong. Viaggio's uh, restaurant is located on this parcel. Uh, the application is proposing to sell alcoholic beverages within, this, in, within the restaurant, which is the reason for the special use permit application. Uh, notice was sent out to all property owners with 300 feet of the request. Staff has not received any calls or letters of protest at the time of this writing. Uh, action is at the discretion of the council, and I'll be glad to answer any questions. The sure, to entertain a motion to. Okay. It is a public hearing. Does anyone have anything to bring before the council on this particular item? Hearing or seeing none, chair to entertain a motion to approve. Yes. Yes. How are you doing, sir? Could you state your name and address for the record, please? Jamil Adams, uh, address 5908 Southeast 71st Street, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Okay. Does anyone have any uh, questions? I have no one. No questions. Go ahead. You go ahead. I just want to know when you're going to open. Uh, we're looking at the 1st of June. 1st of June. we do like a real light, soft opening on the weekends. Okay. Awesome. So your councilwoman, Price Allen, <clears throat> she just texted me that she's sick. And she said this is one I really hope that passes. Oh. Thank no. you. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention, motion carries. Welcome to Midwest City. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> <laughs> Item number four. PC 2078, discussion, <coughs> consideration, approval of the revised preliminary plat of the Turtlewood edition described as part of the Southeast Quarter, Section 7, Township 11, North Range 1 West. Mr. Harless. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Lyon. Um, <clears throat> this application is a revision of the pr preliminary plat for Turtlewood Edition. Um, the 34.4 uh, area preliminary plat, uh, sorry, uh, much of the entire area has been developed. The revision is requested in order to, for the developer to add additional land to the subdivision for the purpose of detention. Maintenance of the new area for detention will be the responsibility of the HOA as with the other common areas, detention ponds, uh, throughout the Turtlewood Aspen Ridge Edition. 
Uh, the installation of public water, sewer, streets, and sidewalks is a requirement throughout the remaining of the undeveloped area within the preliminary plat. Action is at the discretion of the City Council. And I'll be glad to answer questions. So is he, he, they're extending the detention? If you'll okay. remember back, um, and this is done under the old subdivision regulations, so it's not quite like what everybody's used to on, on this, um, but we had to do, uh, uh, the developer had to add additional detention um, for the prob problems that were going on downstream. Um, and uh, this is added to the preliminary plat in order for it to be included in the HOA. This is really uh, at staff's request uh, for them to do this to uh, tidy up some of the uh, um, paperwork and plat. I noticed in the one of the, the, the issues that was brought up was the responsibility of the detention pond and who was going to keep that up. And it says in your report that the Aspen HOA or Aspen Ridge HOA is going to be responsible for that. Do they know that? Yes, it's um, any time that 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 that, that uh, when you go buy a house and you're an HOA, those responsibilities are outlined in your in your in your in your covenants, and so they would know that. And a question did come up about that at the planning commission, and that, that is the case for this that, that it is divided, and that's from what my understanding is one of the reasons that they changed the name on parts of the subdivision was to help clarify that. Is is uh at some point in time, our city attorney is going to either has or will read the HOA paperwork, correct? This is under the old subdivisions. So technically, I don't know if they are, if he is responsible for that. Um, but this is under the old, old subdivision regulations. Can we make that request? Sure, I'm, I'm sure we can ask. ask for them was, to that, was that was that uh, if I remember right a couple city attorneys ago they did not think they were responsible for reading the HOAs yes however um, but if you looked at the ordinance they've always been responsible for looking at the HOAs they just basically didn't now I don't remember the second part of that um, I do remember that the the previous city attorney that was here for for so long she was very insistent that we had nothing to do with the HOAs. But that, it was in the we, ordinance that we did. I, I don't remember that being in there, but uh, I, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with you, I just don't remember it. Um, I, I know we changed the ordinance so that, that the city attorney would read it. Um, yeah, there was clearly we did required it now. We did do a change and that's part of it now. Well, with all due respect, I mean, I guess my question is about making a motion that it's subject to this, the city attorney's review and approval that in fact the homeowner association agreement does reflect that the maintenance for this additional area will be the responsibility of the homeowners association to maintain the detention pond to make sure somebody's maintaining it sure. because we've had an awful lot of drainage problems out in that area and the last thing we need to do is cause there to be you know something put in place that's not being maintained and kelly looks like she's got something to add so not to put you on the spot, but. So this is just um, an amendment to the entire preliminary plat. The applicant is aware that if this gets approved, they will have to come back and replat, which is essentially a final plat for the Aspen Ridge section three showing that detention area. So you could make a motion at this time to ask that the city attorney review the covenants whenever they come back for the, the replat of Aspen Ridge section three. That's my motion. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Good motion, and Kelly. And we're only, Billy, we're only doing that to make sure that people that are No, I understand. Yeah. No, yeah, I understand. I'm we just want clear communication. So, uh, so I assume your motion is to approve it uh, subsequent to the review of the HOA uh, covenants by our city attorney as per ordinance to ensure that this is being addressed by the homeowners association on maintenance so second i have a motion and a second any further discussion all in favor indicate by saying aye, aye. opposed abstention motion carries thank you mr Harles. thank you thank Kelly. you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we now move into new business public discussion does anyone have anything to bring before council hearing or seeing none uh, we do have an executive session attached to this agenda, Mr. Lyon. Um, 
F1, discussion and consideration of entering into an executive session as allowed under 25 OS section 307C11 to confer on matters pertaining to economic development, including the transfer of property, financing, or the creation of a proposal to entice a business to remain or to locate within the city and to an open session authorizing the general manager administrator um, to take action is appropriate based on the discussion executive session. Motion uh, to, to adjourn from council agenda and proceed to the municipal authority agenda. I have a motion to adjourn or to recess, recess. from the council agenda and go. move on to the other agendas. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Extension motion carries. We're hereby adjourned from the council and a call to order. The Midwest City Authority, our municipal authority. Uh, we do have consent agenda attached to this. Uh, these items are placed on the consent agenda so the trustees by unanimous consent can approve routine agenda items by one motion. If any item proposed does not meet with the approval of all trustees or members of the audience, Wish to discuss an item been removed and heard in regular order. The chair to entertain a motion. I've got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Extension motion carries. We now move into the new business public discussion of the authority. Does anyone have anything to bring before the authority? Hearing or seeing none, we hereby adjourn. And I call to order the Midwest City Memorial Hospital Authority. And once again, we do have a, a consent agenda, and these items are placed on the consent agenda so the trustees by unanimous consent can approve routine agenda items by one motion. If any item proposed does not meet with the approval of all the trustees or members of the audience wish to discuss an item, it will be removed and heard in regular order. The chair to entertain hang on, hang on, Mayor. Robert, we need to pull um, number five. Yeah, yes. Go ahead and vote, and, but we need to pull number five for discussion. There's a couple of two, four, and five. All of it. Except for the zoning. So four, five, and six. Let's just go, yeah, let's just be consistent and pull all four, three of those. Okay, the chair reconsider a motion. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Extension motion carries. Are we to hear these items or are they? Straight? Yeah, we just, no, we're going to hear these items. So, item, let me go with four first discussion consideration of declaring lot nine, um, block two, Aviation Acres subdivision, AK 5901 Will Rogers Wart Road. Surplus had entered into a real estate agreement with Bentwood Investments LLC to sell the property for $98,100 less closing costs. Robert, you want me to go ahead and read all three of them? Which one are we? Yeah, we'll have to do a motion on each one. Let me read all three of them. Discussion, consideration, proving an economic development agreement with Bentwood Development LLC construct a multifamily project on block two aviation acres subdivision and then number six discussion and consideration of authorizing Williams Bach for she and Bullard PC Grubbs Consulting LLC and Bitwood Investments LLC to act as agents for the Midwest City Memorial Hospital Authority in the preparation filing and representation of zoning and or platting applications to the city of Midwest City. Mr. Coleman. I wanted to go over a couple of minor corrections with you in both the real estate agreement and the economic development agreement. Uh, these would have been included in your packet if we had got them in time, but we received these yesterday. The uh, real estate council in this matter had a chance to review the uh, real estate agreement and the changes that are proposed are highlighted in the contract that I just uh, passed out and that includes uh, a couple of minor amendments but they also added language on the second and third page of the agreement as well as the fourth page of the agreement that concerns zoning these lots are not zoned multifamily at this time and the uh, buyer would like to have that matter resolved before they agree to close on the property 
And when I talked to Ms. Oakley, she didn't have any problem with what they were proposing. And so we recommend approval of the, of the real estate contract as you see it. And do I'll, we, answer, I'll we, answer any questions. Do we have a timing issue on this, Robert, that since these didn't go out as part of the agenda items that are available for public review, do we have a, a reason why we can't delay this to take this up next time? I don't know of any reason you can't delay it. Provided the items were placed on the agenda accordingly and provided that this information has been provided to the public, at least at this meeting, it would meet, that would meet the uh, Open Meetings Act requirements. Uh, now, if the City Council believes that uh, you have not had enough time to review these, obviously that's within the City Council's discretion as to whether you would like to have a chance to review them and bring this back up at a subsequent meeting. These changes don't affect the title as published on the agenda? My concern is just we've had a constituent show up in the gallery and complain about not being able to see things that are posted and so that's what where my concern goes to since they weren't posted items yes the notice was posted and yes I defer to the city attorney in terms of the legal sufficiency of the notice it's just a matter of the substance of that it's not available so that was what my question went to Neither, if everybody's the, comfortable with it and if we have a timing issue then certainly none of these uh, corrections affect item six only uh, four and five so there's really no need I mean other than language changes everything remains the same yes sir the motion to approve the real estate contract as a amended okay do we on a motion do we need to bring in the zoning because isn't there a question we need to on vote on each one of these individually yeah. I have a motion on the floor to pass number four as amended. Okay, but really quickly, number four reflects a circle on the purchase price, but doesn't reflect the same purchase price as what's in agenda item number four. So is the purchase price 98100 It's $98,100, less closing okay. costs. Okay. That, because it says 95100 on the actual contract. I think that may include some of the closing costs because we've agreed to pick some of them up. So the motion is on the 98,000. It's on 98,100, which is what the agenda item is. I have a motion on the floor. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, any saying aye? Aye. Opposed? Opposed. It doesn't conform, so I can't agree. Uh, motion carries. Uh, item number five. Discussion consideration approving the economic development agreement. There is uh, really only one change of significance, and that's found in Article One under the purpose of the agreement. The buyer slash um, prospect has inserted language as is highlighted as Section One O Two, as far as the the term of the agreement. Uh, the term of the agreement shall become effective upon ex execution by all parties, and it shall continue in full force and effect until one completion of the project evidenced by a certificate of occupancy issued by the appropriate authority or two default of either party is set forth in section five or three upon mutual agreement of the parties buyer may terminate the agreement uh, on reasonable notice for reasons consistent with terms of sections three four and eleven of the real estate agreement uh, in other words if the zoning is not approved then this would be null and void And there was a change to an address in the back on where we're supposed to deliver notices and those are the really only two substantive changes who, i do who who reviewed this one dan mcmahon and he's serving as just for economic development contracts
Any questions, of Mr. Coleman? I don't like voting on things I don't understand. Sorry. No problem. Uh, Chair, to entertain a motion. Motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Abstain. Motion carries. Uh, item number six, discussion and consideration authorizing William Box, Forche, and Bullard. Uh, Grubbs Consulting, LLC, and Bentwood Investments to act as agents for the city, uh, Midwest City Host or Memorial Hospital Authority in preparation, filing representation of zoning amendment planning applications to the city of Midwest City. There Chair, are no changes to this item. I'm sorry? There are no changes to this item. Do we have an agreement for it or no? An agreement? No. Uh -huh. just, just what you see in your packet. And this is standard procedure, correct? We've done it before with Sooner Investment. Any further questions? Chair, to entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. I got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Coleman. Thank you. Uh, we do have one discussion item, uh, Mr. Lyons. No action needed. No action needed on the number one discussion item. We now move into the new business public discussion. Does anyone have anything to bring before the authority? Hearing or seeing none, we're hereby adjourned. And I call to order the Special Economic Development Authority. We do have a consent agenda, and these items are placed on consent agenda. So the trustees, by unanimous consent, can approve routine agenda items by one motion. If any item proposed does not meet with the approval of all trustees or members of the audience wish to discuss an item and be removed and heard in regular order. Move to second. I had a motion and a second. Discussion? All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? Motion carries. Now move into the public discussion of this agenda. Does anyone have anything to bring before the authority? Hearing or seeing none, we are hereby adjourned. And I entertain a motion to reconvene on the council agenda. Second. And a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Uh, the uh, council agenda, we're called back to order on the council agenda, and we will be moving into executive session. Uh, the executive session will be here, held here in the cha council chambers. And uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, attending.